Welcome back to my channel. In this lesson video, we're going to talk about independent and dependent variables. Madala silang ginagamit sa quantitative, experimental, and quasi-experimental research. First, linawi natin kung ano nga ba ang variable. A variable is any factor, trait, or condition that can exist in differing amounts or types. In research, variables are the elements that we observe, measure, or manipulate. Sa madaling salita, sa isang research, sila talaga yung pinag-aaralan natin. For example, the title of the study is The Effect of Daily Silent Reading Practice on the Reading Comprehension Scores of College Students. So, nariyan ang independent variable at nariyan din ang dependent variable. Tinitingnan ano nga ba ang epekto ng daily silent reading practice sa reading comprehension scores ng college students ng isang particular school. So, in this title, ginagamit ang independent and dependent variables sa pagdetermine ng cause and effect relationship. For example, yung title natin, The Effect of Daily Reading Practice to the Reading Comprehension Scores of College Students. Ano nga ba ang nagiging epekto ng daily reading practice sa comprehension scores ng mga respondents? Another example is if you want to know Kung gaano kahaba ang oras ng pag-review na kailangan upang makakuha ng mataas na grades or marka sa pagsusulit. If we're going to take a look at the examples that we have mentioned, basically there are two types of variables. One, independent, and the other is dependent. So we have I and then we have D or IV and DV. Independent variable, dependent variable. Okay. So, papunta yung arrow sa ganitong direction. From the independent variable, papunta siya sa dependent variable. Kasi itong independent variable, siya yung cause. Yung dependent variable, siya naman yung effect. Para madali nating matandaan. Ma'am, what is an independent variable? An independent variable is what the researcher changes or controls to observe its effects. Okay, so... Pwedeng halimbawa kung ang tinitingnan natin ay yung haba ng oras ng pagre-review para magkaroon ng mataas na marka, tinitingnan natin gaano kahaba yung oras na kinokontrol, 1 hour lang ba, 2 hours, 3 hours or more. So sa experimentation, ginagawa yun para makita natin ilang oras nga ba ng pagre-review ang kailangan upang makakuha ng mataas na marka sa pagsusulit. Ma'am, ano naman po ang dependent variable? A dependent variable is the factor that is observed or measured to determine the effects of the independent variable. So, itong dependent variable, ino-observe ito, mine-measure ito para malaman kung anong epekto nitong independent variable. So, meron talagang cause, meron talagang effect. Parang kapag nag-review ka ng maayos sa ilang oras, Ilan ba, gaano ba kataas ang makukuha mong score? Ganong uri ng relationship ang nag exist And usually, ito ay nasa quantitative studies, nasa experimental studies, at nasa quasi-experimental studies. Ma'am, ginagawa rin po ba yan or ginagamit din po ba yan sa qualitative studies? Hindi po natin makikita ang independent at dependent variables sa qualitative studies. Now, let's have a quick activity para makabisado ninyo ang independent at dependent variable. For example, let's have this research. Effect of class size on students' participation. Effect of class size on students' participation. Alin ang independent variable? Class size ba? Or student participation? So, ang independent variable natin ay yung class size. Nagbavary sila, whether 30 lang, 40, or 50 students in one class. Ngayon, yung participation dito sa side ng dependent variable, ano nga ba? Kapag mas konti ba ang estudyante sa isang klase, mas nagpa-participate? 
or kapag mas marami ang estudyante sa isang klase, mas nagkakaroon ng student participation. So, nakita natin yung cost dito at yung effect dito kasi IV ito, DV ito. Another, let's take a look at this. Ikaw ang magbigay ng sagot. Impact of online learning on stress levels of students. Impact of online learning on stress levels of students. Alin ang IV or independent variable? At alin ang dependent variable? You may write your answer, then check natin kung tumama ka. Now, let's check your answers on this sample study, Impact of Online Learning on Stress Levels of Students. So, alin dyan ang dependent variable? Stress levels. Ito yung effect. Ano yung dependent variable? Stress levels of students. Ano ngayon yung independent variable? Online learning. So, impact of online learning on the stress levels of students, whether senior high school students yan or college students. Depende sa study, syempre. Let's have the last one and let's find out kung mapaperfect mo na ito. Ang study ay influence of sleep hours on memory retention of students. I repeat, influence of sleep hours on memory retention of students. Alin ang independent variable? Alin ang dependent variable? Okay, let's check your answer. Sleep hours, ano yon? IV or DV? So, it's the IV independent because the title is Influence of Sleep Hours to the Memory Retention of Students. Kapag mas mahaba ba ang tulog, ay mas maganda ang memory retention. Or kapag mas maiksi ba ang tulog, mas maganda ang memory retention. So, kapag nagkaroon ng experimentation, mapa-find out ano nga ba ang magandang number of hours of sleep para magkaroon ng magandang memory retention. So, let's have a quick recap, guys. A variable is any measurable factor. An independent variable is the variable that we change or we control. At ang dependent variable is the result. That's what we observe. Okay? So, malinaw. Kapag IV, ito yung cost. Kapag DV, ito yung effect. Okay, sana nakatulong sa inyo ang lesson video na ito. Kung meron kang tanong, lagay mo lang sa comment section down below at try natin sagutin or malay mo, yan ang topic ng next lesson video natin. So, thank you so much guys. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell for more lesson uploads, practical tips, and anything educational. Have fun learning!